Hello, this is Ed Tyson from MMA Collector. Every week I will bring in a new piece of memorabilia for my personal collection and even bring in a few collector friends with some of theirs. Our goal is to raise awareness of MMA memorabilia collecting and discuss the historical people and fights that made this sport what it is today. Join me now while we take a stroll down memorabilia lane. By 1996, Pancreas and Shuto were both established in Japan. The two groups were fight purists and had fierce rivalry over defining the early sport. Shuto first appeared in the late 1980s, and the company was always associated with technique and real fighting. Shuto was fertile ground for the smaller weight classes, and their fighters outclassed most of the world as far as technique. The Valley Tudo appearing in the name was a nod to Brazil's contribution to the modern sport. The annual VTJ series was headlined by none other than Hickson Gracie the first two years. And 96 would be the first year with a different headliner. Spectacular Shuto fighter Naboru Asahi would take on Hickson's little brother, Euler Gracie. Asahi would not be able to crack the Gracie mystique on that night. UFC star Dan the Beast Severn defeated Doug Murphy in an appearance that may have seen the Beast at the peak of his fighting powers. In the USA, he was coming off his ultimate, ultimate UFC tournament victory and his win over Ken Shamrock for the UFC's super fight title. Pioneers of the sport, Igor Zinoviev, Ensign Inoue, and Sane Kekuta fought at the VTJ that year. But heading into the show, the fighter getting the most attention was young, undefeated Romina Sato. Sato, a featherweight, was perhaps the first person in MMA who would be called the best pound for pound, but John Lewis fought him to a draw that day. A final nod to the innovators at Shuto. This is back in 96, and the card included a woman's fight as Yamiko Hata defeated Holland's Margot Nehoft. For perspective, Hata fought her last match two decades later when she faced gargantuan Brazilian Gabby Garcia in Ryzen in 2016, a legendary program from a legendary show. If I look happy, it's because we're talking about Rumi Nassado. Shudo's Rumi Nassado really was the first prodigy, the first wonder boy in the sport of mixed martial arts. An unbelievable athlete with skill and precision that were out of this world, Sato took the world by storm. And by Valley Tudo Japan 96, Everyone wanted to see Shudo's rising star. Shortly afterwards, the Brazilians would unveil Vitor Belfort, but the American scene would not see the likes of Ruben Asado for five years in 2001 when we saw BJ Penn. BJ and Ruben have shared the same fate in MMA as Father Time did catch them, and they perhaps logged more fights than they should have. But to see Ruben Asado in the early days, that was something special. Join us next week while we take a look at the evolution of the UFC event programs. If you enjoyed our video, take a moment to like and share and subscribe to the MMA Collector on YouTube and join our Collector community.